YouTube channel and welcome back to my channel. So before I get started with this video, I quickly want to apologize um, about my upload recently, like the past month or something. I have not been uploading consistently. I've only uploaded two videos in a long time and I so deeply apologize. Um, I'm going to do my best to keep up to date with it. I just make a schedule and never stick to it and then everything just kind of collapses. But for now on, I'm going to try my hardest, hardest, hardest to upload a video every single week. Um, let me know what videos you guys want to see from me because I'm really excited and I'm actually going to pre-record another video this weekend, just like a tag video, so um, that if next week I can film a video, I've got one up for you guys. Also, um, quickly, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but my throat really, really hurts. Tuesday I got a really, really bad cold and Wednesday it turned into like a sickness. Thursday I stoned home because I was incredibly, incredibly sick. Friday I went to school, which was not the best idea. And now I feel better, but my throat just really, really hurts and it's really sore. So hopefully you guys can't hear a difference and my nose is also still a little bit sniffly, so sorry if I sniff during this video. Also, I know I'm kind of on the side of the screen right now. That's because I'm going to be putting a little clip here of my phone because I'm going to be doing uh, what's on my phone 2015. I got the iPhone 6 in gold. Don't mind that tape. Um, I had the 5C, um, but then for like the past year, the screen was completely smashed. And when I say completely smashed, literally smashed to pieces. Then, um, like one, two months ago or something, um, this I dropped it again and the screen started kind of coming out. So I decided it was a good idea to push it back in. And then something inside the phone broke, so the screen didn't work. But now I finally have my new phone and I love it. So yeah, I got the 16 gigabyte gold iPhone 6. Um, I didn't want the 6 Plus because I have an iPad mini and I feel like they're going to be too similar. Um, and I just bought this clear case and I actually just put some tape on there because I got bored of the clear case. But... Yeah, I love my phone. I'm so happy to have a phone again. So let's just get started. Um, my screensaver is this kind of floral pattern that actually came with the phone. And the first day I kind of put this on there, but I love the way it looks. I love the bright colors with the black background. Um, and yeah, it's uh, the iPhone 6. You guys probably all know this, but has a finger touch trackpad kind of system, which is really, really easy. So my background on my home screen... I'm trying to show you guys here, but you guys are going to be seeing it here, so, you know. Um, it's just this kind of purple to pinky, orangey um, ombre. Again, really, really simple. Came with the phone. Um, I just love really basic, solid backgrounds for my home screen because it's a lot easier to see all the apps. And I thought this one would be perfect for me because I love these colors. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, my camera battery died, so I had to quickly charge it. It's like an hour later, but... Yeah, let's get started with the apps on my phone. So down at the bottom, you know how you keep your like most used apps. Um, I have four down there, stating the obvious. I have iMessages because recently, ever since I've gotten this new phone, I've been texting my friends a lot more. I used to never text or call anyone besides my family members, but now I've been Skyping and messaging my friends a lot. So I like to have that down there because I'm constantly talking to my friends now. And especially because I have a new contact, so I've unlimited texting nationally, so I can just text so I don't have to worry about it. Then I obviously have Instagram. Um, go check out my Instagram channel. It's the underscore real underscore me underscore 125. It's down in the description of all my videos as always, as well as my other channel, my gaming channel, and um, my Facebook and Twitter. Um, then I have Playtube, which is the new version of iTube. Um, and, you know, music... And I have so many songs on there that I love, and I've been listening to this one playlist constantly. Then I have music, and I don't actually have any music in my um, on my phone, but that app is there to remind me that I have to put music on my phone. It's not worked. I'm going to scooch over a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I definitely have to put music on there, but once I do, I use music a lot as well. Then uh, for my pages and stuff, I just have two pages. The first page was all the apps that I use pretty much daily and I'm just always like using. And then the second page is like other apps that I don't use as often. So on the front page I have a couple of the main um, apps that came with your phone like settings, photo, camera, contacts, safari and mail. Um, and then I also have phone and FaceTime. Then I have my social medias and like socializing apps, Snapchat, which I'm not actually currently using, I'm gonna start that up soon, Skype, 
WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, obviously Shazam because whenever I listen to the radio or something I always want to know what a song is and I'll just screenshot it so I can put it into my Playtube. I've got Spotify which I'm actually not really using as much now because um, the phone's not the full version. Um, and then I have three folders down the bottom. So first of all I have Minecraft which where I obviously keep my Minecraft Pocket Edition and a couple of um, skin apps and um, sieve apps and stuff like that. Then I have a little folder full of games because I'm always constantly bored and these will always help me um, whenever I'm bored and my friends also love playing them. So I've got Crossy Road, Trivia Chack, Chack, Trivia Crack, The Branch, Minion Rush, Can You Escape One, which my friend Sarah was playing the whole entire time during our science lesson, Four Picks One Word, Temple Run 2, Splash Splash, Uno Friends, Move the Walls, 110, and Jumping Fish. 110 has been my favorite game so far. It's just a game where you have to fill in a blocks, like the blocks, and it's kind of similar to 100, I think it was actually 1,248, and you just have to like, I'm actually currently playing it, you just have to fill in the blocks um, and get certain points and get rid of the lines. I really, really like it. And then I have picture edit apps. Um, in here I have Pick Lab, Font Candy, Blurred Wallpaper, Blur Wallpapers, Pick Collage, Layout, and Pick Joiner. So Pick Lab is essentially, Pick Lab and Font Candy are really, really similar. They're just where you take a picture and you can add things on it like stickers or font, text, shapes, anything like that. Um, Pick Lab is more based on stickers and shapes, so you can also do a little bit of text, and Font Candy is more based on fonts, but you also have a few shapes on there as well. And then Blurred Wallpaper is really, really cool. You can take a picture or a color scheme, like an ombre color, and you can actually blur as much as you like. So if you have um, like a picture of a sunset or a beautiful view, you can blur them and it turns out so pretty and it's also really cool to blur it and then put text on it. I did that for one of my Instagram pictures. Um, and then I've got, you know, pick collage layout and pick joiner all kind of collage, up, collage apps where you can add a whole bunch of pictures into one. Um, so yeah, that's it for my main page. And then onto the second page, I have... Um, a whole bunch of apps that came with the phone. I have App Store, iTunes Store, Calculator, Clock, Maps, Notes, and my account, which is my a Verbin, Verbin, which is a Virgin Mobile app, because um, Virgin Mobile is my carrier, so there you can see like how much I've been using and stuff like that of my data. Um, and then I have an, a folder called Useless Apps with apps that I never ever use. Let me know if any of you guys use any of these apps, because never have I ever, maybe once, have I used reminders, but never have I ever used any of these apps. So there's videos, calendar, iBooks, passbook, stock, newsstand, Apple Watch, don't have an Apple Watch, health, weather, voice memos, tips, compass, podcast, game center, and reminders. I don't use any of those apps, so that's why I just like to keep them away in one little folder so I don't have to worry about them. I never open that folder ever. Um, so yeah, that's what's on my iPhone. So that was it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys use any of those useless apps. Also, let me know some fun games on your for your mobile because I'd be really interested. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Give this video a bigger thumbs up if you... Big or thumbs up. Give this video a big or small thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Comment down, comment down below any other videos you guys want to see from me. Like this video if you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below the apps from my useless apps that you use if you use any of them. And subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and you want to see more of my face. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye!